Good morning. Welcome to Quest Bites. Happy Magic Monday. I hope you had a great weekend. I'm starting Monday on the beach, so it's a great week so far. Um, so by now, I'm sure you've put on a good amount of sunscreen this summer, but have, have you ever wondered how it works? Well, that's what we'll be exploring with today's experiment, painting with sunscreen. But first, let's play Spot the Quapples. I'll put 30 seconds on the clock for you to try and find them. There are five Quapples in this photo on the beach. Quapple, of course, our education logo in the bottom left corner of your screen. The apple with the Quest Q in it. So here's 30 seconds. Let me know if you're able to find them. They're having a good beach day. I love the pictures that have lots of stuff going on because I feel like it makes the game a little bit more fun. Hopefully you'd agree. About 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Here's the answers. Were you able to find them? I feel like this one on the far left was pretty easy. Hopefully you found that one at least. Um, if you didn't, no worries, we'll play again on Wednesday. Just make sure you're here right at 9.30 so you can get in on the fun. So today, we're painting with sunscreen. So you are going to need to gather a few things. It's pretty simple. Of course, sunscreen is one of the items that you'll want to find. A paintbrush and black or dark construction paper. And I'll explain why that needs to be black or dark. But first, let's just explain how you set this up. Pretty much like any painting activity, only instead of paint, you put sunscreen on the paper. You'll squeeze it a little bit onto a plate or palette and just start painting. Um, this was a little too thick. You pretty much want it to look like you didn't paint at all, which is what makes it cooler when you end. I didn't know that because it's the first time I've done this and I wanted to really see my painting. So I put a little too much on there and we'll see, you'll see what happened. But then once you're done painting, you'll put rocks on the corners, even if it's not windy, just to make sure it stays in that spot because paper will go flying pretty easily. So you'll need constant sunlight for about two hours. And so we'll wait for that. But let's see what is going to happen in that time. So this works because the sunshine fades the paper. That's because ultraviolet waves from the sun break down the chemical bonds in the dyes that produce the colors we see. This breakdown makes the colors look faded. Sunscreen creates a chemical and physical barrier so those ultraviolet waves can't reach the chemical bonds in the dyes. When you put on sunscreen, you are creating a barrier between your skin and the UV rays from the sun. That's how you avoid sunburns. I've had a sunburn so far this summer, not my favorite. So I need to learn how to put on sunscreen better. But let's see how I did here. I put on plenty of sunscreen on my paper because you can see right at the beginning that it does kind of dry out, but it didn't dry out enough to completely get rid of the sunscreen. So I really needed just a thin layer of sunscreen, but it still faded the paper, of course. And when I pick up the rocks, you can see that those left marks of the original color so you know that the rest of the paper is a different color. So underneath that sunscreen is the original black sheet of paper but I just put a little too much sunscreen. I got a little too excited so learn from my mistakes and I know you guys are better at crafts than me so you should come up with some much better drawings than I did. You could also just lay rocks on the paper in a shape that you'd like and that would create the same kind of effect, um, creating that barrier. Or you could cut up pieces of construction paper and tape them on the darker piece. Just any kind of barrier that blocks the sun from your paper will create the fun design. And it's fun to try different ways. Uh, I might go out and do a different version today, maybe with the construction paper pieces, a mosaic. Um, so we'll put the instructions in the comments so you can try this lesson. Send us your pictures when you're able to paint with the sunscreen, hopefully you do a little bit thinner sunscreen than I did. Um, but either way, the pictures are pretty cool. So I hope you join us on Wednesday because we're making homemade pan flutes. If you don't know what those are, super cool and easy. And you won't want to miss that. So be here right on at 930 on Wednesday right here. Until next time, continue onward with your quest for knowledge. And thanks for watching.